Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Independence Day. It is the 4th of July. Time as I make this is 5.05 a.m. And uh, today, the radar will be very active on the 4th of July. Uh, there's radar behind me there. There's storms down in southwest Alabama at the moment here in the early morning hours just before dawn. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I mean, we'll be playing the odds today. Some towns will get lucky, other towns will not. The um, coverage on the showers and storms will be scattered to numerous. Uh, so there's a good chance that you will encounter a uh, shower and a heavy downpour with uh, intense lightning at some point, either late this afternoon or this evening or tonight. Um, will, it, will it wash out your backyard barbecue? It could. A lot of them, you know, a lot of outdoor plans will be washed out today, but you may get lucky. You may not have a problem. Uh, your town may have uh, no, no problem with the fireworks tonight. Other towns will. And that's just the way it works here on the 4th of July. Yesterday, the temperature came down just a notch. I mean, we had 98 on Sunday, 94 yesterday at MGM. And uh, the heat index still got to 107. And I think today we're in the mid-90s. We are in the triple digit heat indices into the danger range, and that's gonna be fuel for the fire for numerous showers and storms. You'll see future radar below. By the way, the Storm Prediction Center has us in a marginal severe weather risk today, and again, tomorrow, Wednesday. On Wednesday, the storms will be scattered to numerous again across the area, much like today, a carbon copy. And then I think the rain chances are better than normal on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures that will be in the low to mid 90s each day and heat indices into triple digits. Otherwise, everything is, is, is normal. Uh, there's uh, uh, nothing um, in the tropics right now to, to talk about, so there's no, uh, no big ticket weather uh, in our future that, that I can see. It's just going to be that standard summertime showers and thunderstorms, and the radar will be very active. Our weather app will keep you on top of the action with instant push notifications for severe weather alerts plus radar and future radar. And keep in mind, on the 4th of July, the uh, death toll from lightning is the highest on this day. And why? Because uh, people are outside on the 4th of July. And uh, so, yeah, the, statistically, uh, the, uh, the death toll is higher on the 4th of July. All right. Wish I had better news for you because uh, it's just, you just got to be flexible today and have a plan B. And that's why our weather app will help you know where the storms are and where they're going to be. Uh, this morning off today, uh, we'll be back on the radio tomorrow from uh, 6 to 9 and back on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32 as well. There'll be another update for you tomorrow morning, including this forecast discussion and the blog update. If you're on YouTube, it's easy to get to our blog. There's uh, information in the description section on how to see it on our website, on Facebook, on Twitter, on our weather app. It's all over the place, all right? Have a great 4th of July holiday, and hopefully you will get lucky and your outdoor event will not be rained out. I'll see you later.